What is going on YouTube Espresso Shaco here and today we are hitting the Reg G ranked ladder with this Swords Dance Necrozma Duskmane team. That's a bit of a mouthful, but regardless, we are hitting the Reg G ladder with our second Duskmane team and we're making a few different adjustments here with this team compared to the Dragon Dance team. This team here is going to be a Trick Room team featuring Amoongus, Cresselia, Ogre Pond, Ursa Luna, and Grimmsnarl. Ursa Luna is an absolute monster in Trick Room. Amoongus is extremely annoying with a fast spore in Trick Room. We also have some redirection with both Amoongus and Ogre Pond. And the main highlight here is the Dusk Main Necrozma. What we're going to do is we're going to use Swords Dance to increase our attack two stages per use. And then we're going to start doing some damage. We're looking to wallop things with Sunsteel Strike, Knock Off, or Earthquake. And the main reason here why we have Knock Off instead of Photon Guide is so we don't have to worry about opposing Steel Psychic Pokemon, whether we run into Duskmane Necrozma itself, Solgaleo, or even Bronzong, because when I did run into that with the Dragon Dance team, we did run into some issues with Bronzong being immune to Earthquake with Levitate and being able to hard resist Photon Geyser and then being straight up resistant to Sunsteel Strike while being able to raise its defenses. So we're going to try to make things just a little bit better for Necrozma in this sense. And plus, we also have the Earthquake to hit opposing Incineroar for super effective damage. One thing to keep in mind, while we are a Steel-type and our Terra-type is Grass, we do have to be very weary of opposing Flare Blitz off of Incineroar. So, we might have to play a little bit cautiously, but with some redirection support off of Amoongus and its Rage Powder and Earthquake, we should be alright for getting Incineroars off of the field. If we can get set up with a Sword Stance, redirect away an attack from the Incineroar, we should be good to just click Protect with Amoongus the following turn and then go for the Earthquake to try to get Incineroar off of the field. So, as far as Amoongus goes, we have Terra Fairy on here. If we don't run into a Mirrodon, great. I'm looking to put things to sleep with the Spore. If Necrozma starts getting worn down or even Ursa Luna, we have the Pollen Puff off of Amoongus to side target our partner or we can go for a little bit of chip damage with it. We have Cresselia here with the Mental Herb. This is our main Trick Room setter here. So basically, if we get hit with a Taunt or an Encore, the Mental Herb will activate and undo it, which is going to be great for making sure we're not locked out of our status moves, or in the case of Encore, being locked into a status move, which might actually be worse. As far as our moves go, we have Moonblast for a little bit of damage. We have Lunar Blessing to heal up Necrozma. And this is also part of the reason why we're not running Terra Fire. If we get burned, it's not the end of the world if we have Cresselia still alive and healthy because we can go for the Lunar Blessing, heal up Necrozma, and cure its status conditions. Similarly enough for Ogre Pond and Grimmsnarl, if they get burned, we do have the Lunar Blessing. We also have Helping Hand here to boost up our damage output. And then as far as Ogre Pond goes, we have Ivy, Cudgel, and Horn Leech for our damage. This is fairly standard Ogre Pond stuff. We have Follow Me for redirection. Then we have Spiky Shield just to keep us alive. And the nice thing too is Ogre Pond's fairly quick. So if we're out of Trick Room, it's not like the entire team is super slow. We do have Ogre Pond to try to do some damage. And then our Ursa Luna Blood Moon is fairly standard as well. We have a Life Orb on it. We have Terra Normal to boost up the power of both Blood moon and hyper voice and we have earth power for some damage as well so you know nothing really too spectacular as far as my blood moon goes standard standard stuff but if it ain't broke don't fix it and then finally we've got grim snarl here we got terra poison on this thing too just to be able to resist some uh super effective hits we'll be able to help match up uh, against fairy types specifically flutter flutter main with the Terra Poison will also become neutral to steel, which is not the worst thing imaginable. And we also become resistant to fighting, so that should help Grimmsnarl. We have the Light Clay here to extend the life of both Reflect and Light Screen. We have Spirit Break to keep some special attackers in line. And then we have Thunder Wave to try to make some things miss their turn. So that's the team in a nutshell. Let's jump right on in to the battles. All right, it actually looks like we might be going up against a Reg H team. Uh, we got Sylveon, Rampardos. Rampardos is wild because that thing has a very, very high physical attack stat. We got Alolan Executor, Smeargle, Kingdra, and Gallade. All right, so what are you cooking here, mystery opponent? 
we got a potential Trick Room off Glade. We have potential uh, Sniper or Swift, Sh Swift Swim shenanigans off of Kingdra. Try saying that ten times fast, or even try saying it fast once. Uh, Smear Goal is... Well, it's Smear Goal. It's going to be annoying. But I think maybe what we can do here is I think we can lead the Ogre Pond. I think we can lead the Ogre Pond and... Uh, Honestly, my opponent's team looks kind of slow, so they might actually kind of want the Trick Room. Uh, so, you know, I think maybe we lead Necrozma here. I think maybe we bring Cress in the back, and I think Ursa Luna should be all right. Uh, I really don't want to deal with a potential Spore off of the Smeargle, uh, not going to lie. But if I can get Follow Me Sword Stance up, should be all right at the end of the day. So, very happy looking trainer card there with the Greedent as well. So, we'll see what's going on here. Uh, what are you cooking? All right. We got Alolan Executor Glade. All right. So, I think that looks all right for Necrozma. They have the Frisk, so they're going to find out that I'm clearing Amulet, which, I mean, I could technically be Assault Fest, but I don't know why you would necessarily run Assault Fest. Um... I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going for damage into the Glade. I think I'm going to Swords Dance with Necrozma. I think I'm fairly safe between uh, these two. Uh, they go for Protect with Glade, fine. Uh, does Alolan Executor get Trick Room? I, ooh, that'd be kind of interesting, actually, if they get Trick Room. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to get my Sword Stance off. If they uh, go for Trick Room, great. Alolan Executor is naturally slow to begin with, so... Negative priorities, probably not really going to matter. And they did give me the Trick Room. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're going to have a good time. We are going to have a very good time because we're going to hit Follow Me. And we're going to go for the Sunsteel Strike right into the Glade. Uh, the Alolan Executor is a little bit scary, but you know what? Should be all right. Uh, we'll go for the Follow Me. We'll go for the Sunsteel. If we nail that Glade from big damage, great. I don't want to potentially take a Will-O-Wisp off of it uh, now that I got my Sword Stance. I also don't want to take any potential foul plays. I don't think either of these get foul play, but you never know. There's a thousand plus Pokemon. There's definitely a lot of moves out there. The potential is there to easily uh, let something sneak by us. So let's see right here. We're going to get a Terrastalization. What is it? Is it the Glade? You tried to save the Glade last turn, so yeah. Okay. Terra Dragon. All right. Oh, is this Dragon Shear? Is this going to be Dragon Shear or Lolan Executor? Oh, let's find out. Because, uh, you know, that's that's spicy. Glade does get a lot of moves that do get boosted crit rates. There is the Dragon Shear. All right. So, you know what? Fair enough. If you're Scope Lens, you're now guaranteed critical hits. That's that's actually kind of concerning. But Ogre Pond's going to take this. Ogrebond's going to go have a, a nap, unfortunately, but Delayed is going to eat this, um, ooh, their life orb too, nice, alright, so, we should be able to pick up a KO right there, so Glade for Ogrebond, you know what, probably not the best trade-off right there, but I take their Terra, so, I can live with that, alright, so, Sacred Sword would have done a lot of damage to uh, a good portion of the team, so I'm very glad we were able to drop that. Uh, Glade. I'm going to bring in Ursa Luna now. I think I'm going to pop the Terra Normal and go for a Hyper Voice. Uh, Kingdra's coming in here. Uh, they are a Dragon type as well, so, you know, not ideal, but uh, I do like the idea of going for Knock Off. Um, yeah, because I also don't want to take a Grass type attack into Ursa Luna. I'm going to go for the Knock Off, and uh, I'm going to go for the uh, Executor, actually. Uh, yeah, because if we can get Trick Room gone, great. Uh, I do like that helping. And plus, I'm also going to drop my Water and Grass weaknesses for Ursa Luna right here. So, we'll get our Terra Normal off, and then we'll go for the Hyper Voice. So, here comes Dragon Cheer again. Uh, this does have the potential to hurt, but I don't think Kingdra is going to be able to outspeed both of these Pokemon, since they are fairly slow. So, we're going to get our Hyper Voice off, so... This should do some major damage. Uh, almost half to both of them. Uh, I think a little under half. And here comes the Hydro Pump. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Also good to know that Kingdra's still uh, slower than Necrozma. But good to know that we can pick it off. Um, Alright, so 
They were Cover Cloak on the Executor, which, you know what, that kind of makes sense. Um, I do really appreciate the Dragon Shear. It's not every day you get to see Dragon Shear in action, so... Uh, Sniper Kingdra's scary, but you know what? We should be able to finish it with Hyper Voice, and we should be able to Sunsteel Strike the Sylveon. Uh, so, in theory, we finish off Kingdra here, and Necrozma hopefully is still slower than Sylveon. I don't want to take some damage into it, because, you know, it is going to faint uh, pretty much at the drop of a hat at this point. So, yeah. Uh, being able to get rid of the Sylveon with Necrozma would be just the icing on the cake right there, or the sugar on the cream, if you will. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. Let's see what goes on right here. We also did take away Glade relatively quick with Necrozma, so I am happy about that. Uh, Sylveon's hitting me with a Terra Blast. That's gonna hurt. Uh, so, yeah, they could have taken out Necrozma right there. Thankfully, they didn't. Um, so... I'm wondering if their idea was to try to take take away Ursaluna with Sylveon so Necrozma could go down to Kingdra. But you know what? We're fine. We're fine at the end of the day here. Uh, we do get to finish them off with the Necrozma. Ursaluna, uh, despite its uh, abysmal special defense, was able to take that Terra Blast no problem. So uh, we took a lot of HP um, from that attack. Don't get me wrong. But we were able to... Uh, brace ourselves against that, hit them with the Hyper Voice, and then finish them off with the Sunsteel Strike. So that does work out. Uh, very, very spicy team on my opponent's end. Uh, I really did like the Dragon Cheer. I'm very grateful for the fact that we were able to just destroy that Gallade. It did cost us Ogre Pond, but you know what? Give and take. Uh, I, lost my, I lost a Legendary Pokemon. They lost their Terra. Something about that stings just a smidge, but you know what? That's okay. Good game to my opponent. All right, we've got a Zacian, Regieleki, Pelipper, Tinglu, Landorus, and Amoongus. So, Tinglu, Amoongus, not the greatest for Trick Room, but I'm okay with that. We have the Terra Grass on Necrozma, so we can resist Tinglu's ground type stab options. Amoongus won't be the worst thing imaginable since we can potentially put some things to sleep, and if we can just nail that Amoongus for some major damage, with Necrozma, that could be good. The Ursa Luna matchup into both Pelipper and Tinglu, not ideal. So we're probably going to be playing a little bit more towards Necrozma here. Uh, I think we're going to bring Ogre Pond. And then that way too, we do have a means of hitting the uh, Tinglu for major damage as well as the Landorus. If we need to switch out, we do have the Amoongus. And we can also bring Cresselia here. And then that way too, we do have the Trick Room. So... Yeah, I want to get Necro... Or, not Necrozma. I want to get Zacian off the field fairly quickly. Uh, so, basically, I'm going to try to get the Sword Stance up and then maybe Spore the Zacian with Amoongus, and then we go from there. Uh, that should be the big thing. I don't think this is going to be uh, non crown Zacian. I think this is going to be Zacian crown. So, we can try to hit them with the Spore and go from there, potentially. Uh, unless they're Terra Grass, which... I don't know. They could very well be. Uh, it's Among Us Pelipper coming into uh, Necrozma and Ogre Pond, which is great. They can't spore um, Ogre Pond, so I feel fairly safe being able to click the Sword Stance and then go for the Follow Me with Ogre Pond. If I take a Hurricane, not the worst case scenario, um, I don't mind getting this Follow Me off and then getting the attack boost up. And we're going to take a Hurricane, not the end of the world. Ogre Pond should be able to live it. It does. It doesn't appreciate it, but we are able to take it. Pelipper's also the fastest thing on the field, barring Ogre Pond, so that's good to know. Foul play off of Moongus is a little bit terrifying, not gonna lie, but that's all right. We can bring in Cresselia. We can uh, go for Trick Room. We could also just bring in Amoongus as well. Uh, I think what we do here is I think we go Helping Hand with uh, Cresselia. I think we get rid of the Amoongus since uh, a foul play is just going to do an absolute uh, terrible amount to me. And we just go from there. So I think we Sunsteel Strike and I think Helping Hand. This should be enough unless it's Focus Sash to Amoongus, which I highly doubt it is. No, oh, I just scared myself. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, all right. Maybe I, maybe I luck out though. Maybe they just... Uh, no, they don't switch. Um, okay. 
So we get the Helping Hand up, we get the Sunsteel Strike, there's no Terra. Uh, Pelipper is faster than uh, Necrozma, but we're going to take that no problem. We can go for some damage. We can also Lunar Blessing next turn if we need to. And uh, Amoongus is gone, so no Spore Threat. It was Rocky Helmet, so good to know. And uh, yeah, if they want to try to Weather Ball me, they definitely can. I could, in theory... Uh, Terra Grass, and then go for damage. Uh, this looks like it's Zacian coming out here. Yep, yeah, alright. So both of them are fast, faster than Necrozma. Um, okay, uh, I could switch in Amoongus. Yeah, I think I have to switch in Amoongus, because otherwise I don't have a means of taking out the Zacian. So I think I, I think I switch in Trick Room. And then I think I just start trying to go for some spores. And plus, I can always go for Lunar Blessings afterwards. So, I think we bring in Amoongus. We try to get the spore into the Zacian. There's going to be a Protect there. Great. I don't know necessarily why you would... Because they know for sure that the Zacian and the Pelipper were faster than Necrozma. But, you know what? That's fine. Maybe what they were thinking was maybe I had a surprise Terra. Which, technically, I do. Um... But, you know what? I can spore into the Zacian slot. If they want to switch, great. Uh, I would actually kind of like it if they did. And then I can go for a Moonblast into Pelipper and just go from there. Um, yeah, I could do that. Um, do I want a Terra? That's the other thing. If I Terra and drop the weakness to Hurricane, that could be nice too. So maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll go Terra Fairy on Amoongus. Uh, Spore the Zacian, and maybe I just go for a little bit of chip damage into Pelipper. And then I can go for Lunar Blessing. Depending on how much damage I do to Pelipper, that could be nice. Uh, they might have a Focus Sand. I don't know. It's hard to say because if they have Regieleki on their team, uh, they might have the Focus Sash there instead. So maybe it's the... Okay, here comes the Terra. So this is Terra Grass. This is not going to be good. But let's see here. It is the Zacian. Is it Terra Grass? Oh, it, it is. Okay, that's a little bit uh, unfortunate. But you know what? If they don't knock me out, great. I can always go for a uh, Lunar Blessing to heal up Amoongus. So there is the Hurricane into uh, Amoongus here. So we're going to take that, no problem. No confusion. Great. That is not a lot of damage. And they went Behemoth Blade into Amoongus. So you know what? Fair enough. They uh, they called the Spore play. That's rather unfortunate. But I could go for the Earthquake. and Or no, I don't want to go for Earthquake because they're a Grass-type now. Um... I think I go Lunar Blessing, and I think I think I go Knock Off into Pelipper just to go for the damage. Um, yeah, that might be the big thing. I go for Lunar Blessing, try to heal up uh, Necrozma, and then just try to rely on Cresselia's Natural Bulk to try to deal with this. Um, we should also be running low on rain turns for my opponent, so... Uh, Hurricane is going to start losing its accuracy, and Weather Ball is not going to become, uh, or not going to be as strong, hopefully, sooner rather than later. Uh, now, Sacred Sword off of Necrozma, or into Necrozma, could be a little bit unpleasant, but we'll go from there. Yeah, uh, and plus, Knockoff is going to have its boosted damage modifier for re removing an item from Pelipper, so we do have that. Sunsteel Strike is, uh, still neutral to Zacian, so we do have that. Uh, okay, Pelipper is still able to outspeed Necrozma even with the Trick Room up, so uh, we must be uh, speed tying in that case. That, that's the only reason why I can see Pelipper still going first. Uh, so we'll get the knockoff there. We get a critical hit, so that's nice. Uh, we also don't see an item getting removed, so I wonder if that's maybe Covert Cloak? Would that work? Uh, let's see right here. Maybe I missed something. Uh, nope, nope. Um, I don't think I missed anything there. So maybe what it is is maybe, uh, maybe they had an item there, or no item at all. I mean, yeah, could be. Uh, which would be really odd, but you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna question it too, too much. Uh, I think we go for another knockoff into the Pelipper, and I think 
we just take advantage of the fact that we do have the trick room up to uh, to go for that. We have two more turns, so I think we go for the Lunar Blessing just to try to get a little bit more HP back into both of these Pokemon. Uh, the nice thing here is even though they do land the Hurricane, Cresselia is going to hang in there, so we should be able to do some damage. If we can get rid of Pelipper, great. Uh, Necrozma can try to start boosting up its damage output again with Sword Stance. Um, we know they have Protect on the Zacian as well, so... Uh, can Necrozma 2v1 these two Pokemon? Highly unlikely. Yeah, highly unlikely right there. Maybe I should have gone for the Sunsteel Strike into the Zacian. Uh, but, you know what? Ting Lu's coming in here. That's fine. Um, all right. How much damage do I think they can do to me? That's the, uh, that's the main question. Um, I think I'm gonna try to Sword Stance. We see a Protect out of the Zacian, so... Hopefully the Tinglu can't do that much damage to me with the Prism Armor. I don't like that amount of damage. I really do not. But you know what? We get our Sword Stance off. Um, Trick Room is done. Let's see. Let's go for the Sunsteel Strike into the uh, Zacian. I'm kind of curious to see how much damage. Uh, here comes the Sacred Sword. Ooh, that brings me down to the 19. Tinglu is going to get me. Uh, but let's see, how much damage do we do to this Terra Grass Station here? Uh, it's a clean knockout. Okay, so you know what? Helping Hand uh, Sunsteel Strike could have been a much better play in the last turn too, but we had to try it. They do finish us off with the Stomping Tantrum, which is unfortunate. The Terra Grass really did trip me up there. I was really hoping to get that Zation put to sleep. Maybe I should have went for the Pelipper. I was also kind of expecting to be able to outspeed the Pelipper in Trick Room since it was outspeeding me uh, out of it. So I'm assuming what happened there was we were speed time. But you know what? It is what it is. Um, and it also was just a... Uh, like, we ended up going down to just the Tinglu's there. So not the worst case scenario. Good game to my opponent. Hey, we get an opposing Cresselia. We also have a Shadow Rider to deal with. But we have Archaladon, Comfe, Landorus, and Ursaluna, Blood Moon. So they have the Tailwind option in Comfe. They have the Trick Room option in Comfe. They also have the Trick Room option in uh, Cresselia. Uh, I wonder if they're going to be like Draining Kiss or Giga Drain into Archaladon to give it a stamina boost uh, quickly as well. So hard to say. Um... They could just be floral healing as well, but you know what? Let's 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 live with it. Uh, let's bring out the let's bring out the Necrozma. Let's potentially threaten them with a knockoff. Let's bring in Ogre Pond. Uh, or you know what? We bring in you know what? Let's bring in the Blood Moon. Let's leave Blood Moon Necrozma because the idea here is, is oh you know what? No, we don't leave Blood Moon. We lead Cresselia. Uh, because what I'm thinking is, is Necrozma might not be the Terra candidate for this one. This might actually be Cresselia so that we're not super weak to Astral Barrage. And then we can bring in Blood Moon to potentially dodge it. And if we Terra and Trick Room, should be okay. Maybe. Okay. Uh, as far as our last Pokemon goes, I think we bring Amoongus. I think we're going, uh, full offense on this one with the idea of potentially, um... Uh, misdirecting them with a Necrozma Ursaluna swap out. Maybe. Okay. Um, it's really unfortunate Necrozma does not get Wygard either. If Necrozma got Wygard, I wouldn't be scared of that Astro Barrage. But anyways, it is going to be Cresselia Archaladon instead. I think... I think I Sword Stance... And do I think they trick room? That's the question. Do I think they trick room? No, I don't think they do. I also think they were self vested. Oh, okay. Skill swap. Okay. Um, not what I was expecting by any means. 
Uh, so metal burst into something, but our Chaladon, I know to leave that thing alone. Um, you know what? That's fine. They also got rid of their Levitate, so... I just wanted to get a little bit of chip off into that thing, but you know what? This is really greedy of me, but I'm going to go for a Trick Room and another Sword Stance. And then I am going to start clicking Earthquake. Yeah, I'm going to click Earthquake. If they Terrastalize with Archaladon, great. If they don't, awesome. Um, I'm going to go for a second one. I'm going to get the potentially plus four. Calm Mind Cresselia is a little bit scary for the bulk, but I'm not too weary of it. Now, Thunder Wave off ne into Necrozma is not the worst case scenario because I can always go for a Lunar Blessing. I also get the plus four, which my opponent should now be very concerned about. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, you know what I want to do? I want to hit that Cresselia with a Sunsteel Strike. I really want to do that. Um, and I know I'm faster than Necrozma in Trick Room with Crest, so... I'm not sure how this works with the status uh, condition and full HP interaction, but hopefully this is enough to uh, undo the paralysis, and then I should be able to just not worry. Ooh, yeah, that's right. I would have been slower. Uh, right. Okay, so... I do get the Lunar Blessing off. My paralysis is gone, so good to know. All right. I really want to hit that Cresselia. I really want to hit it. I also don't think Metal Burst will do a lot of damage to Necrozma. So I think what I can do is... I think I can knock off into the Crest, because even with my Prism Armor helping them, this should be a straight knockout. Um, yeah, I, I think that's going to be okay. I'm going to Helping Hand just to be on the safe side. Just to make sure this damage is absolutely absurd and stupid. But, you know what? They let me get the plus four. I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I'm at plus four. They also revealed that they don't have an Assault Vest to... Uh, I think Metal Burst is still a damaging move. I think. I don't think it's a status move. But they also revealed it with the Thunder Wave for sure. Uh, so, in theory... I should be able to just start doing some big damage. And, honestly, I just want to get this Crest off the field. If they go, if they undo my trick room, great. Um, I can reset it. No, nope, they just go down. So, two combines later, and they're knocked out. Um, okay. So, uh, they were mental alert. Good to know. Okay, metal burst. It's time for you to go. It is really time for you to go. So, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to click earthquake. If Calyrex comes in, I'm terrestrializing, and then I'm clicking earthquake, uh, and then we go from there. Yeah. So, who is coming out here? It is the Shadow Rider. Okay, how many turns of Trick Room are left, too? That's the other question. Yeah, that's the other question here. How many turns? Uh, two. Great. I don't think you get a double protect. I think you eat a... Uh, I think you eat an Earthquake. And honestly, at plus four, uh, Earthquake should do a tremendous amount of damage to this Shadow Rider. Um, if I lose Necrozma, well, I have the uh, uh, the Ursaluna. Uh, also, I forgot to click the Terrestrialization button, but you know what? That's fine. I have Ursaluna. Ursaluna might need it more than Necrozma, to be completely honest. So, let's see. Calyrex is just going to switch out, so maybe next turn they go for a Trick Room. Or not a Trick Room, sorry, a Protect. Comfey comes in here. Great. I'm going for you, finally. Um, you're going to get a stamina boost, but that's okay, uh, because you're still eating a plus four Earthquake. Yeah, you go down. Uh, <laughs> you go down, and you do not Metal Burst me, because that would be absolutely abhorrent damage, uh, which I am very glad to not be eating right now. Um, now... I think I think I click Earthquake again just to deal with the Cumfang because we do have the Trick Room. And I don't want to reveal the Terrestrialization just yet. I think we go for the... 
I think we go for the Earthquake, and I think we Moonblast into the Comeface slot. Um, yeah, because there's the Protect, like I speculated. Um, Comeface just going to faint to uh, the uh, Moonblast here, which is great. And next turn, I'm going to Terrastalize, and I am going to hit this thing with a uh, Sun Seal Strike, because I think they Terrastalize away from their four times Dark Weakness. Maybe. Maybe being the key word. Um, and I am not bold enough to try to... You know what? I'm not bold enough to try to deal with a uh, uh, Astro Barrage without my um, whatchamacallit Prism Armor. But I'm also going to uh, try to reset Trick Room. So there is the Terrastalization. And honestly, even if... Uh, even if Crest goes down here, I think the Sunsteel Strike is enough to do it unless they're Focus Ashed. Um, they're not doubling up on Ghost Type Stab with uh, Terra Ghost, which is nice. So, the Sunsteel Strike should be more than enough damage. And if it's sashed, great. I don't think, with my current spread on Cresselia, that I go down to an Astro Barrage, especially since it's still a spread move. But this is the moment of truth. Um, yeah, I live with 45 HP. That's. Not ideal, but uh, the Trick Room is going to go up here. Assuming I just pick up the Knockout. Yeah, I just pick up the Knockout, too. All right, yeah. Yeah, uh, or what I meant to say was assuming I don't pick up the Knockout uh, and it's sashed, but... Anyways, we have the Trick Room in the bag right there, too, so Necrozma would have been able to outspeed them. But, yeah, uh, Sword Stance. We got two of them in one game. We got Greedy, and it paid off. So, uh, very happy about how that played out. Um... Metal Burst or Chaladon uh, definitely was uh, concerning, but we were able to just nail that thing uh, when the time was right. The Moon Blast hitting it was great because I feel like that's probably where the Focus Sash was. And also good to know that Lunar Blessing, despite being at full HP, was still able to go off and undo the Paralysis. So I'm uh, very happy about how that played out. Uh, good game to my opponent. Hey, thank you guys so much for checking out this Sword Stance Duskmane Necrozma team in action. I really couldn't have asked for a better matchup there with that last game, getting the plus four attack stat into Necrozma and just start walloping things with the Earthquake as well as the Sunsteel Strike. And my opponent thought they were being clever with the Terra Fairy, but nope. No, nope, we went for the Sun Steel Strike. If they were Terra Ghost, that would have been bad for Cresselia, especially if they had Focus Sash. But fortunately for me, they did not. They had Terra Fairy and uh, a not Focus Sash, so we were able to just obliterate them with Sun Steel Strike. We also played up against Zacian Crowd, and unfortunately, as much as I would have liked to have won that game, my opponent just outplayed me. Uh, they were able to call the Spore with uh, my Amoongus and just went for Terra grass with their Zacian and their Pelipper put in a lot of work as well because they were able to do some really good damage with the Weather Ball and the Hurricane. They also were able to just call my Terra Fairy Amoongus and just hit me with a Behemoth Blade so they absolutely just uh, ruined Amoongus's day and uh, we put up the good fight. We definitely did but uh, unfortunately the Ting Lu was just able to handle us at the end of the day for that match. We were able to knock out three out of four of their Pokemon fortunately but we just didn't have the firepower to finish them off. And then we also got to play up against some or Dragon Cheer shenanigans. We got to see a Lolan Executor go for Dragon Cheer into Terra Dragon Glade, which that Sacred Sword was a bit concerning, but Ogre Pond took one for the team. It went down to that while Necrozma finished off Glade with the Sunsteel Strike, which was also nice to see that the Glade was a life orb, so it was able to take a little bit of chip, and then the Sunsteel Strike was able to pick it off. And then Kingdra came in, got the Dragon Shear as well. They did a lot of damage with that Hydro Pump, but fortunately, Blood Moon, Ursaluna, and Necrozma were able to just start sealing the deal because once the Alolan Executor went down, Sylveon came in, tried to do some damage to my Ursaluna. They might have underestimated Ursaluna's HP stat a little bit. They were definitely within the right to go for the special attack into Ursaluna, but Ursaluna was just able to survive, get the Hyper Voice, finish Kingdra, and then Necrozma took out Sylveon with the Sunsteel Strike, which I was very happy to see. Anyways, guys, I had a lot of fun playing with this team here, but uh, it definitely needs a lot of work. I thought I made some better uh, adjustments after the Dragon Dance video, but... Uh, it 
it was a thing. But anyways, if you haven't seen the Dragon Dance video, uh, be sure to check that out and let me know if you have or have not. And uh, let me know what you think of this Sword Stance team down in the comments below as well. Until then, I will see you next time.